what's up guys welcome to episode 7 of the Slamer Wanderer's Journey 31 minutes at least round 7 doesn't sound right um, I have now completed the second season in Malta with Slamer um, this section didn't really go according to plan um, so we'll go straight into the fixtures to uh, get started the last one of last defeat obviously was here against Vita Rosa Stars and as you can see it's not gone very well. Um I followed up the Vita Rosa defeat with a two two draw at home to Belzan Youths. A Trevor Sealer goal put me one nil up in the ninth minute. Ivan Woods doubled it in the thirty fourth. Um Anthony Ever Parker pulled one back for Belzan on the stroke of half time. And then with one minute to go, Lloyd and McAuliffe equalised for Balzam uh, to give them a point in the dying seconds. So not a great start to the section, especially when you consider 17 shots to 5 in my favour, 7 on target to 3, and 65% possession in my favour as well. So very disappointed to not come away with only a point. Didn't get any better as we then went and lost to Hamron Spartans 1-0 a Massimo Grima goal in the 44th minute put them in front and it was the only goal of the game and is disappointed in this game 11 shots to 6 in their favour of 4 shots on target to none by me and uh, possession was 50% each so not a great start at all to the section we then went and beat Dingley Swallows 2-0 to record the first win. Ariel Adelsi in the 15th minute put us 1-0 up. And Diego Ortega in the 42nd minute completed the score. Shots was 13-7 in my favour. 5 on target to 2 in my favour. And it was 56... No, sorry, 58-42% to possession in my favour as well. So we finally recorded our first win of the, of the section. But it didn't last long. A 1-1 draw at Hibernians. A Rodolfo Soares goal in the 36th minute. Put Hibernians 1-0 up. And stayed like that to half time. Ariel Adusi in the 90th minute. Gave us an equaliser. And a share of the points. Stats wise. It's 8 shots to 7 in my favour. 4 shots on targets to 3 in their favour. And possession wise was split exactly 50 we then followed that up losing 2-1 against Valletta Daniel Bogdanovic put them 1-0 up in the 34th minute and it was that until half time and Stanley Ohuchu pulled one back for me in the 51st minute unfortunately a Mauro seed goal 20 minutes later gave him a 2-1 win Stats, even-ish, 53% to me, 9 shots to 7 in their f my favour, 4 shots to 3 on target in theirs. So that was the first defeat after a couple of games. Then followed that up with a 2-1 defeat against Hibernians in the Cup semi-final. A Andrew Cohn goal, a stuff sorry, Stanley Hochi goal put me one lap in the third minute. Andrew Cohen then he closed within five minutes to make a 1 1. And a Tarabai goal in the front of 32nd minute gave him the win and a place in the final. Um, slightly more in their favour 12 shots to 11 in mine, 7 shots to 5 on target in their favour. And a 51% to 49% possession in their favour as well. We then followed that up with a good running. A 2-0 win at Brooker Cora. Thanks to Stanley which would go in the 52nd minute from the penalty spot. And he doubled the lead and scored the final goal of the game in the 65th minute. To give us a 2-0 win. As you can see, it's quite dominant. 53% possession in my favour. 21 shots to 2 in my favour and 11 on target to no none. I then followed that up with another win. A 3-2 home win against Cormie. 
Trevor Sealer put me 1 up in the 24th minute. And that was how it was at half time. Ivan Woods then doubled the lead in the 47th minute. Cormier pulled one back in the 52nd through Daniel. Sadani Huachu put me 3 1 up in the 72nd minute. But Abubakar made a squeaky bum time by scoring two minutes later. Um, luckily, we were able to hold on to take our second win in a row. We had 59% of the possession, 11 shots to 9 in my favour, but they had the more shots, 5 to my 4. We then followed this up with a 0 0 draw at home to Mosta. I'm quite disappointed in this that we weren't able to break them down, but a point to point, especially in the running. Um, especially as you can look at the possession there, it's 52% possession, but I had 12 shots to 13 and 4 on target to their 1, so I would have hoped to get something. And then in the second penultimate game, I drew 2 2 against Valletta. A Terence Shirley goal in the 47th minute put them 1 0 up. Marlon Briefer pulled them back on the arrow mark, and Diego Ortego put me 2 1 up in the 72nd minute. However, we weren't able to hold on. A Terence Sherry goal in the 78th minute gave them a share of the spoils. Match stats, 15 shots each. Four on target to my three. And they had the slightly more possession, 52 to 48. And in the final game of the season, we beat Rabat Ajax 2-0. Marlon Briffa in the 16th minute uh, puts one up at half time. And in the second half, Joseph Misford Complete off the scoring to give us a 2 0 win and an unseason on high. If shots was 20 shots to 4 in my favour, 4 on target to my to their 2, and I had 60% of the possession. So, all in all, it wasn't a great section. Um, I only won 4 games, drew 3, and lost f well, 3 actually, so it wasn't too bad. Despite the not great running, it worked out wonders, as you can see champions guys champions despite having a not great run-ins Valletta and her brilliance also suffered as well um, my draw with Valletta was the turning point um, as far as I was concerned because if I had lost that well as far as everything was concerned really because if I had lost that they would have actually taken the title um, but I held on and then came back and beat um, Rabbit Ajax in the final game to take the title so i will be in the champions league it will be the first time in god knows how long slim i've been there or well, since 2005 um so hopefully we can get uh, a decent run as well with the um european or with the uh, coefficients and get into the second round of the uh, europa league last year so hopefully we can do quite well i'm in the champions league valetta hibernians and cormy are in the europa league <laughs> oh. Sorry guys, um, so not too bad uh, representation from Malta there. Um, so let's go through some stats first. Um, finances, 20,000 in the red, um, but they're supposed to end the season on 228,000 they reckon. Um, but that will be, uh, we'll, get some deets, we'll get some money from the um, Champions League hopefully. Um, we'll go back to the Premier League actually and check out some stats for the players so average rating went to uh, Abubakar 7.55 from Kwame goal scorer, leading goal scorer was Abubakar again joined with Ivan Woods on 21 each Ivan Woods also had 13 assists um, but no one made it into the shots and target ratio um, let's just have a look at some let's have a look at Europe uh, da, 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 da. Champions League was won by Bayern Munich, B Man City 3 now. And the UEFA Cup was won by Porto, who beat Barcelona in the final. Barcelona somehow finished third in their group. Um, it is 2014, so let's have a look at how uh, the World Cup was drawn. Uh, so England have got Canada, Switzerland, and Uruguay. <laughs> So let's see. So they start with Canada, then Uruguay, then Switzerland. Um, I would have started. I probably would have started the uh, Champions League qualifying by then. Um, 
so for that's it for the episode guys leave some likes for the uh, first title win of the series and hopefully the first of many um, leave some comments as well I'm actually recording this um, a couple of well about 45 minutes ish after England just beat Montenegro um, leave the comments on the performance and uh, tune in next time for a possibly a European special I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet I might um, just do the draw and then maybe the games after that but I'm not too sure because it's a second round I don't think I'm going to get very far um, so I might actually just do um, the whole first section as well to be honest with you um, I think I'm going to go up to 11 games again uh, but we'll have to wait and see uh, but that's it guys leave some likes, leave some comments, subscribe and I'll see you all next time in, in the meantime, take it steady